Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, well there is a question that I've seen a few times and wanted to answer it uh, today and it's has everything to do with of course the Windows 10 end of support coming up in October. Uh, time is f going fast so you know we're approaching that uh, date where Windows 10 is not going to be supported uh, for security patches uh, except for two ways that you'll be able to um, do it and both are paid extended security updates. So the question was, is what's better? If I go to the first year of extended security updates, is it better to use the Microsoft security updates pay for the extension, which will be $30 for a year? Or should I go the zero patch way and pay there, which is going to be roughly $30 a year also? Um, which one's better? Well, in terms of what is better, both are good and both will be great. The only difference if Microsoft does only one year is that zero patch will enable you to continue paying $30 a year and has promised to keep Windows 10 up to date with security patches until at least uh, something like 2031 or something like that, which means you would have several years of patches available uh, where Microsoft right now stands at one year only. They're not mentioning it could it be extended more than one year. It is not impossible. Microsoft might, you know, in that year um, announce, well, here, another $30 a year and you'll have a second year and so on. But right now, it's really sticking at one year. Now, a lot of people are saying, no, you're wrong. You said they did say three years. No, three years is for business. Business only are getting three years. Right now, it's really just one for the consumer. So whatever you choose, of course, um, will be fine for that year. Some people have already gone to zero patch directly because saying, well, if I have to spend $30 a year, I'd rather spend it on a third party, you know, company that is not Microsoft because I don't want to give my money to Microsoft. And so that's an, another way of thinking. So that's fine. Whatever you will choose will be fine. So the way it works with zero patch is that you will have a uh, little, um, piece of software to download from them once you pay for the $30 uh, dollars a year. And that software will actually micro patch Windows 10. Um, and most of the patches with zero patch don't require a restart. They really focus directly on the specific uh, security patches to do. So they stop the process in memory, they patch and then they start it again. So for the most part, a lot of these patches on zero day, on zero patch, sorry, are uh, going to be you know installed in the background without any restart of any kind uh, where windows 10 patch will be the standard patches where you'll get security updates and then it's going to restart uh, once again um, the pc like it does with a usual windows update so whatever you choose is fine um, i will share the link to zero patch in the description below so you guys can go and check it out and uh, as time goes by, Microsoft will announce the detail on how to um, subscribe to their own um, service of extended updates. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.